Right, shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Chagadash, the bonus to the apostles and the elders, a great millstone. Peace and salutation to the Akiyam, to the elect, and that are scattered across the four corners of this earth, pushing this truth out in faith and in sincerity. I'm the brother Shamala from the GMS used to camp, and this is going to be a quick lesson. You know, going into something um, that I read in the news today about Regina King. You know, you, if anyone knows her, she's a uh, uh, an, an actress. You see, you might have know her from Friday, you know, play Craig's sister. And she played multiple movies, you know, or whatever. But her son committed suicide today. You see, and basically, you know, this lesson is going to how that, you know, no matter what you do in this life, no matter what covenants, what Esau that you make, you see, hey, you can't escape judgment. No one can escape judgment, you know, no matter uh, uh, what you are in the society, no matter your your status, you know, hey, judgment is going to come down. You see, the most side is not going to hold back judgment because of who you are, you know, in this life and in this world because of the praise that you receive from these, you know, from these people from the world because the world is uh, is wicked. Right? This whole world lies in wickedness, as it says in the book of First John, I believe. You see, all of the wicked of our people will get judged, right? Being, having this, the so-called comforts of this life, you know, the riches and, you know, the... Uh, Stardom, movies, you know, whether you're a musician, you know, you're a rapper, singer, whatever profession you choose to be to escape the curses, you can't escape it. You can't. Hey, the most side is always here. Hey, it says his judgment always goes forth. Right? There's nothing you can do. But this is Jeremiah 16 and 1. The word of Yahweh came also unto me, saying, Thou shalt not take thee a wife, neither shalt thou have sons or daughters in this place. You see why? Because a judgment was going to come down upon them. You see, we know we're living in um, the times of, um, of death, you know, and of judgment like never before. And brothers who have women and children, hey, the Lord will protect them. You see, if it's the Lord's will. You see. Hey, the, the, the children of the elect, you know, the elect's families, you know, will be good. Right? And, and this this is what we believe in and have faith in. All right? But for the rest of these people, man, hey, it's a... It's nothing but death and mourning and famine and the sword. All these things are coming, you see, unto the wicked and, and, and to their children, right? Which the wicked, I'm talking about the, the two-thirds of Israel, which are the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, right? But we know, you know, the the actual wicked Esau, Edom, but, you know, but our people are, are, are wicked, you know, as well, you see. Two thirds, right? It says that ye are of your father, the devil. They following right behind this man, right? in his world, and you know, and in his kingdom. You see, and, and that's why they perish, because they forsake the laws of the Most High. They forsake life, and choose death. But it says, for thus said the Howell concerning the sons, and concerning the daughters that are born in this place. And concerning their mothers that bred them, and concerning their fathers that begat them in this land. So this is talking about the whole family. You see? Like I said, like speaking on the death of her son, right, which she was uh is a so called celebrity, but you know, this goes for all of them. All of them. They, they're not gonna be able to escape the judgment of the most. Right? And when these things start to be, you know, Broad, broad, broadcasted and, you know, shown in the earth, man, hey, 
that's gonna be that's gonna be um good for us to see. It's so we we want the the most out of to continue to bring judgment down on these people. You see? We want them to. Right? They've been living in their, you know, in their riches, been having fun in the earth, you see, doing wickedness, right? Hey, who knows what goes on, you know, behind the scenes, you know, because we, you know, we, we kind of know what goes on, right? In the, in the Hollywood scene and, you know, what these people be doing, what you got to do to get, you know, rich and famous in Esau's world, you see? Just a bunch of wickedness and witchcraft. All these people are, are into witchcraft, you see? Hey, but, you know, the most I always going to bring that judgment on their ass. And that's something they can never stop. Verse 4, it said, they shall die of grievous death. Right, he said that son committed suicide. Like, bro, come on, man. That shit, that's grievous. You got to the point to where you want to kill yourself? You see, that's grievous. All right, and the most I put the spirit on that man and do that. <coughs> You know what a lot of people um lack and don't understand is that the Mosai does these things. Right, when, when when people people die, they don't give you know, they don't give the most size due credit. You see, you have some people that will say, Okay, uh well God just called him home and this and that. Right. Or it, yeah, some people say that, but why? Why did he do it? Why he call him home? And he's like, okay, you know, he's one of my favorite people. You know, he's such a good person. Let me let me, let me let me bring him up here. And hell no, because he was wicked. That's why. You see, and you have some people that say, oh, it wasn't his time. How the hell are you gonna say it? Who who are you? <laughs> what type of authority do you have in the heaven in the heavens? You see. To say that it wasn't a, a, a man's time or anyone's time, you know, for them to die. You don't have authority over that. You see? Hey, the most I decides all of that. It says, they shall not be lamented, neither shall they be buried, but they shall be as dung upon the face of the earth. And they shall be consumed by the sword and by the famine, and their carcasses shall be meat for the fowls of heaven and for the beasts of the earth. Right. And when we talk about the death of the two thirds, man, all these famous celebrities and kids and their families, you see, hey, that that's that they part of that too. They all bunched in. Cause the most I don't care about none of that. Let me get um well let me get this first before I get that. Right. This is Jeremiah 8 and 3. It says, And death shall be chosen rather than life by all the residue of them that remain of this evil family, which remain in all the places where I have driven them, said Yehowah. Right, Death shall be chosen rather than life. Right, Because hey, this world breathes nothing but death. You see, because it, it, it's, it's contrary to the ways of the Heavenly Father. You see, but hey, they unknowingly you know, be choosing these things because hey, they, they, they don't, they don't think about the latter end. They don't think about the judgment of Mosa, right? Because the the goodies of these of this world are what these people be chasing, and they will do anything, you know, to to get these things, right? I know that they choosing death, being in these covenants with Esau, doing this and that. You see, hey, they choose death. Our people choose death in the way that they live, and from you know their mindset because their mindset is far from the Most High, far from me. How about me? I was shot. So hey, ultimately they choosing death, and that's why death comes unto them. You see, <laughs> and her son actually chose death. Right, which the most I put stirred his spirit up, right, to do these things. You see, 
But this is wisdom of Solomon 9 and 6. For though a man be, be never so perfect among the children of men, yet if thy wisdom be now with him, he shall be nothing regarded. Right? You got your LeBron James, your Floyd Mayweather, your Lil Wayne. You see, you got your Jay-Z. You see, you got you got Michael Jordan. You got all these people. Right? They not in the truth. And, hey, these people aren't, aren't shit to the most high. And these people are glorified, you know, to a, to a whole nother level and idolized, you see, in in this society. Put on pedestals. They this, they that. They the greatest, blah, blah, blah. Right? The most I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. That ain't nothing. Hey, in the eyes of the most I, either you a righteous man or you a wicked man. And if you're a wicked man, hey, you you are. It says you shouldn't. You ain't gonna even be regarded. Like if if you're if the knowledge of the Most High, hey, if you ain't doing, you know, you ain't serving the Most High. Hey, you ain't shit. No matter what type of status the world puts you on, right? And you will be judged accordingly to uh, by your actions. Right? Whatever actions that that you doing on the planet Earth, you will be rewarded for it. Right? Most I don't care about your status. I don't care about what people think of you. You see? Romans 2 and 11. For there is no respect of persons with the most high. Right? Because, hey, if anybody sins, you see, or goes off, or disobedient to the Lord, right? Hey, the Lord... When he brings down judgment, he don't he doesn't think, oh, well, you know, this person, they they got this 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 many awards. You see, they're the greatest in basketball, or the greatest in boxing. Or they they are a very popular person in the earth and people like them, so I am gonna cut him some slack. I ain't no, the most I don't do that. Right? <laughs> he ain't gotta worry about man's thoughts. He ain't gotta worry about man. Hey, this is the supreme <laughs> Yahweh, hey, he is the most high. He's highest of, of everybody. You see? He's higher of everybody. You see? Which he set up his son under him to, you know, be over these things, right? And they sent forth the angels, death angels, to be exact, to carry out the plans. You see? And when, he, when these plans are carried out, Hey, the most high, neither Yahweh Shah, neither the angels, right? Have respected persons. It's time for you to go, it's time for you to go. You see? This is Galatians 6 and 7. It says, Be not deceived, the most high is not mocked. Whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. So whatsoever person soweth on this planet Earth, whatever type of energy that they putting out, however, whatever type of lifestyle they're living, and you're going to get that back in return. You see, these people think they live in so-called, you know, righteous, righteous lives by following these different religions and going to church and this and that, that they creating their own righteousness. You see, that ain't the most high's righteousness. You see, and a lot of these people are going to learn to fear the most high. And, hey, they're going to fear that actual name. And his name going to be proclaimed in the earth in these last days by the great death that he's going to bring. But, this is... Psalm 68 and 20. It says, He that is our power is the power of salvation. And unto Yahweh, the Lord belong, belong the issues from death. So the Most High, He gives the order on, you know, who He wants to die. He's in control of that. It's no, it's no coincidence. It's not accidental. You know, things just don't happen. The Lord does this. You see? And he's going to issue deaths for 
a lot of the wicked. Hey, that's that's all that they have coming unto them. And it's going to continue to grow and to get worse, right? No matter, like I said, no matter your status. See, prime example was Kobe Bryant. <laughs> Hey, surely if the Lord was a respected person, he, he wouldn't have touched Kobe Bryant. <laughs> hey, but the Lord ain't a respected person. Right? It's going to be a lot of death coming to these, to the sellouts of all people. You see? The ones that are in, uh, well, they're not really in high places, but they doing better than the average jig. Right? Because, you know, they make these certain contracts and deals. What he saw, you see, and they living a little better. All right, but hey, that hey, you still gotta worry about the Most High. Right, hey, you making your contracts with he saw, you being a so called star, or you know, you have this type of fame, that don't turn away judgment. Everybody in this flesh is gonna be judged. So you know that's, that's that really was a lesson. You know, this is edifying. With that, I'm gonna say shalom.